just the sound of a professional at work. Step into the office of Dr. Michael Stern, a man used to working in tight places. Okay, you can bite. For nearly 30 years, his has been a world of caps, cavities, and crowns. When you were a kid, though, did you want to be a dentist? No, no, no. That, that happened um, in college. I just wanted to do something helping people. Uh, I wanted to be in charge uh, and not have other people tell me what to do, uh, which the way insurance is now, that's not valid anymore. <laughs> but, um, uh, and, and I was always good with my hands. It was a big tooth. There just wasn't too much of a plug down there. It's those hands that now tug and pull and maneuver inside the mouths of hundreds of patients, many with a certain uneasiness about their visit here. If the patient is really fearful, we feel it too. And like, why would we want to feel that way? It's stressful enough working in a tight place like that, and it's hard to see sometimes. Your mirror gets fogged up. There's movement. There's tissue you don't want to touch. Stress. It's a word you hear a lot in the field of dentistry. 10 to 12 hour days working with a variety of patients isn't always easy. It, it is a draining profession. There are times when all of us, including Suzanne over there, we'll just drag our butts home because we're just drained. We're just drained and, and you know my family has to put up with that. Sometimes I get home and I'm just a couch potato. Everything is downhill. Uh, Kim will be doing your temporary crown. You will uh, regrettably be off the gas because you won't really need it. Do you love what you do? I do now. I do now. I, I would say several years ago I was getting burned out. Um, everybody in healthcare is sort of like, we went into it to be our own boss and the way insurance is now, we're not always able to do what we think is, is best because there are financial constraints. And um, now that I'm hooked into the internet uh, dental form and I'm able to really be ahead of the pack in terms of what I do, mm -hmm. uh, it's really reignited my passion mm -hmm. for dentistry. Professionally, what makes you feel good? Knowing that I, I nailed it, knowing that it's great, that it looks good, that it went in without a hitch, uh, knowing that other people think enough of me that they're going to send people in. Um, do you have any particular concerns? Because I went over your history and it looks pretty much, you know, routine. It's giving people uh, a quality of life. Um, it's giving people uh, feeling good about themselves, that type of security, because when people meet people on the street, the first thing you see is the eyes. Number two is the smile. The hours can be long. The stress level is sometimes high. And yes, some patients are often afraid. But Dr. Stern's life's work remains his passion. And he wouldn't have it any other way. I really can't think of, of anything else I'd rather do uh, job-wise uh, right now. You know, and how many things do I know how to do? I went, I went to professional school and I, eight years in college for this. Um, what I would do, if I could, would be I would work a little less uh, per week and I would spend some time traveling and seeing the world and maybe spending a little bit more time with my family.